First thing we're gonna talk about is setting up your NoFly Learn site. We get a lot of questions from folks on how do I get started? Do I use Google Classroom integration? Do I use LTI, which is Canvas, Moodle, Blackboard, and, and sites, and do I use a standalone site? So I'm gonna go through and briefly demonstrate um, how the different site setups work. And uh, we'll start with Google Classroom setup. So setting up your NoFlight Learn site with Google Classroom. When you go to set up a NoFlight Learn site, you're setting up a private site for you and your students. When you integrate with Google, you are directly connecting to your Google Classroom, and NoFlight is a premier Google education partner and a verified application in Google. So all the information has been verified by Google to be safe, and we are protecting student data. Uh, NoFlight actually does not see the student logins or passwords at all. They're verified by Google and passed to NoFlight, and then NoFlight is syncing with your classes, and your assignments, and I'll show you all that as we progress. So how do you get started setting up a site? Well, when you create a NoFlight Learn site, you get three options. So the first we're gonna talk about is integrate with Google Classroom. Now, when integrated with Google Classroom, the first thing it will ask you to do is connect to a Google class. Now, I've already connected to my Google user, which is Teacher5. I'm logged in as Teacher5, so NoteFlight's connected. So here, once you go through that connection step, you'll set up a site name. And so I'm just going to set up Teacher5 Demo Site. Now, this is a similar process for all setups. And we'll go from here. This is where you'll accept NoteFlight Learn Terms of Service and Policy. And you can always make this site public. This does not mean your data is public. This means that you could share a link with parents. And anything that's shared to the public site can be viewable by parents. But they will have no access to any other student data or anything else, just the musical score. I like to check this because you'll find that you want to share information with others. So now we'll add this site, and you'll go right to it. Now you've created your own URL now, and of course I called mine Teacher5 Demo Site. Now the next thing you'll do is it'll take you right to add students. Now with Google, you can manage or sync your classes. So at this point, you can manage classes and it will connect to your Google Classroom and pull in all of your classes. So here is my test Google Classroom person and I have some classes here. And notice that NoteFlight has pulled all of these in. So I can say, okay, I would like to sync my fifth grade A and B, my third grade level B, any classes you want, and you don't have to sync all of them, you can choose. And then you can go ahead and update. Now notice it's counting. So this syncs the class and also creates user accounts for every single student in those classes. So I'll just go ahead and hit update. It says that 197 are gonna be added. And now NoteFlight is of course talking to Google to get this set up. Now, as we go along tonight, I'm going to point out where everything is in our help center. So when you go to support.noteflight.com, and I'll start from the beginning, you'll have NoteFlight Learn. Everything we're showing is in a help center article. And in fact, you might be actually watching this video that's now in these articles. So there's a Google Classroom section that has all of the um, you know, the maintenance and setup and administrative pieces of the site. So right now I'm going through the site setup and integration steps. And notice Google has synced and it's counted all your members. So it's confirming how many students you have in each class. NoFlight only counts students once. So you have a student in two different classes. It only counts as one seat. And you hit OK. And NoteFlight is now syncing everything with Google. At this point, when this is done, any student that's in those classes can simply go to this site, teacher5demosite.gc.noteflight.com, this URL, and they can log in with Google. And whatever their Google username and password is they use for your school, they'll log right in. The other thing, um, to note is that if you make any changes in students, right, I'll let this go ahead and process and I'll show you some other, it's, it's updating right now, but you see these options to invite teachers or sync classes. If you make any change in your Google Classroom, right, if you add a student or remove a student or anything like that, NoFlight is not going to automatically pull that in. And the reason for that is strictly because we don't want to make a sudden change to your site without 
um, your permission, right? You may remove a student from your Google Classroom, or your admin may roster students, but they still, you know, want access to that that masterpiece note flight score that they made. And of course, we don't want to just take that away. So that user will still have an account until you sync, and then note flight will call Google and be like, "Hey, Google," and then Google will say, "Hey, here's the updates," and it will all go through. And that process happens automatically, and that's the sync option, and it's just one button for you to select, but it's important to note that we want to have you in complete control of who has access at all times. Um, when it comes to other teachers, you can invite teachers as well. And the way this works is you as a teacher in a Google site can go and actually add other teachers. And so here's the support article on that. And while that site's loaded, you have this invite teachers option. And all you have to do to add other teachers in Google is simply copy and paste their school email addresses, right? They have to be at the same domain. Whatever your school domain is, you'll copy and paste those teachers in. And what that allows is an entire school district could sync their NoFlight Learn site with Google and then invite all the teachers. Each individual teacher can sync their individual classes and a teacher will only see the classes they teach and students will only see the classes they're in. So you can have an entire school district, one note flight site, sync, invite all the teachers, teachers can sync classes as needed, it's totally self-service and it's totally available. So a note flight site with Google could be one teacher at one school, five teachers at one school, or 50 teachers at 30 schools. However, and it all it all works the same and it's totally flexible. So you have that option. And that is how to set up a Google Classroom site with NoteFlight.